All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be tackling some fun and easy soft body. I made this to where if you've never touched soft body physics and anything like that, you can really understand it. I'm gonna break it down for you and just show you a couple of parameters that you can play with. And if you saw the thumbnail right here on my Patreon, I show how I did the lighting, the texturing, all this thing. All I'm showing you in the tutorial is to how to set up all the settings to get soft body. But if you were interested in the camera tricks and the shading and the lighting, that is on the Patreon. You can find the link for that in the description. All right, now let's open up Blender 2.8. We're gonna be using Blender 2.8 for this tutorial. So let's hit Shift A, and we're just gonna open up a plane here, make a Control A, and apply scale. Now all we need to do to the plane so that things land on it is just turn it into a collision object. Now let's add in our circle. I'm gonna be using a UV sphere for this, and we're just gonna bring it up just like that. I'm gonna hit Tab. I'm gonna go to subdivide. Now be very careful when you're starting this, especially if you don't have a very powerful computer. You wanna start low poly, do not start high poly. So we're just gonna start with a number of cuts at two. So now that we have this, we're gonna go and click on soft body. And then we're gonna be clicking on collision. And we're gonna be using collision because we will be adding two more spheres to this. Now, if you pr just press play, nothing's gonna happen. And the reason why that's happening is because you have goal clicked. If you turn off goal and then you press play, he crushes. So first thing we're going to do is go down here and click self collision so that it doesn't actually sort of intersect itself. So now you can see it doesn't completely crush. It just falls to the ground and this is low poly. So that's why it looks like that. So now let's start adding some firmness to that. Now to go to firmness, just go click on edges just to get you comfortable with it. The only thing we're going to touch in this tutorial is pull, push, and bending. And those are gonna tell you how firm your ball will be. So just to give you an example, we're just gonna keep it here at the default and right here on bending, give it a bending of two. So you saw how it acted the first time. If we press play, it starts to hold a little bit of structure. So if we were to put bending at a crazy number like 10, it will just barely just squish just like that. So if we keep bending at one, it'll look fairly good just like this, and now it squishes like a nice ball. Because it is physics, if we bring it all the way up here and then we let go, it will squish quite a bit more and react that way. So that's how it's working there. So you can just play with the settings. Now again, this is not a professional tutorial. This is for people who've never touched physics, soft body physics. So I'm gonna give you the numbers to get a really cool look. Right here on push and pull, we're gonna give it a 0.7 just like that. And as you play with these these numbers, you'll figure out kind of what they do. But if you want structure, you're gonna keep push and pull. And on bending, I'm gonna keep my bending at five. So when that happens, we're gonna go down here, press play, and it's gonna keep some structure just like that. Now the reason why we have these numbers is because we're gonna get some other things to crash into it. So let's bring this guy close to the bottom. And we're gonna hit Shift D and bring another one up here. Now I would press play, but it would go very, very slow. So to preview how this is going to look, is first, I'm gonna hit tab and I'm going to subdivide it because I already know these are good settings. And the more subdivision, the more squishing and bending. So that's why I had a bending at five and the push and pull at 0 0.7. So it handles that high subdivision. So if you're playing with this, higher subdivision, more realistic squishing, lower poly, you're gonna want lower bending and push settings so it bends with it. So now to preview it, now it will take a while to bake depending on your computer, but if you wanna watch it in real time, you're gonna to go to the soft body, go to cache, and then I'm gonna give end at 100, so it only bakes 100 frames. I'm gonna put 100 down here on my end as well, and we're gonna click bake. And you just wait for both of them to bake. So we're gonna bake this one first, and then I'm gonna bake this one the order doesn't matter, that's just what I'm gonna do. All right, so they finished baking. We'll just press play here on the animation and they just squish right on top of each other very simply, just like that. And you have a good soft body render. Uh, what I like to do is shade smooth. I think soft bodies just by default always look good, smooth. And then what I'll also do is add a subdivision surface to each of them, just like that. And adding that subdivision surface just gives it another level of realism in the actual squish that it gives you. So, and they just combined. And what I like to do is, it looks like ice cream right there. Um, I'll put another one on top, even another one on top of that. 
and you get a really cool stacking soft body simulation. But yeah, if you're just trying to get into soft bodies, just try to get comfortable with it, this is a very easy setup. I'll be providing two project files. This one that you're seeing right now, just to give you the settings that I'm using, and you can get that on Gumroad for a dollar. And you can also get the scene from the thumbnail with all the shading and the lights and all that. Again, if you wanna see how I did that and a breakdown of that scene, you can get that on Patreon. And everybody on Patreon will be getting those two project files for free. So that's a tutorial. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.